Are you looking for your next three yard quilt adventure? Well, how about trying half rectangles? Stay tuned. Hi, it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe, and we are going on an adventure today with three yard quilts, the half rectangle adventure. So we are gonna step through and show you how fun they are to put together. And we have a little different twist than some folks do, but you know how we are here at Fabric Cafe. We love to play and make it fun for you. And we eke out every single inch of that fabric so you don't have any leftovers. So let's jump in and look at a half rectangle quilt. Now this is our diamond dust and is this not gorgeous? I just love it. We've got some great fabric here. And you can see here how this right here is our half rectangle. We've got it put together with an opposite half rectangle and it just creates this amazing design on the front of this quilt. All right, let's put it on the table and look at the fabric and some pieces and parts for this. Okay, so I love this fabric for this quilt here. Now this is diamond dust. And as you can see here, our fabric number one, this gorgeous jade green here, just such great colors. Lots of peaches and pinks and greens and golds in here. And of course our fabric one goes here in this big diamond. Then our fabric two. Now remember our great fabric selection process. We take our focus fabric out. Our focus fabric is the one that you want to highlight the most. Take that out of the equation. We look at the remaining two. The lightest fabric is your number two fabric and the darkest of the two remaining is your fabric three. So our fabric too is this great peach and it blends so well. And as you can see, we need that peach, that lighter fabric to create this diamond effect on the diamond dust pattern. It's fabulous. Now our fabric three, this kind of acts like a double focus. It's the darkest and it's going to go here in the diamond so that this diamond here really pops. We've got a little on our border as well. So absolutely think this is so fun and just great colors. Now, let's talk about the half rectangle. You see a beautiful example here. So just how is this different from other piecing that we've done? So I'm gonna grab some pieces and parts and some step outs so that you can follow along with me. We're gonna shift this over. Now, the diamond dust pattern is in our Modern Views book. So the first thing we're gonna do is just flip over here so that you can see the pattern. We have some great diagrams that will step through perfectly how you're going to do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our fabrics. Now, we have our fabric two and our fabric three here. We're gonna use these two fabrics as our example to how to put this together. And as you can see, it's gonna make one of these half rectangle blocks here. So our fabric two, we're gonna turn it over to the back side. And usually whenever I do this, I consider this the top, but just keep in mind, if you would rather this way be the top, that's fine. As long as, as we get going, we do opposite directions, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line from corner to corner. And I have an example here. You know, Hannah puts all of these together and Renee also, and I just am so grateful that they get all these step outs done for us. Thank you, Hannah and Renee. They're perfect. I always love it. Okay, so here we go. We had our two rectangles. Now we have the same two rectangles. I'm on the wrong side of fabric two, and I've drawn this line corner to corner. Now our diagram in our book shows how we've drawn corner to corner on these. So kind of keep that in your mind there. So the pattern will step through it perfectly. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line these up. So it's very interesting. I keep grabbing that book again, but I'm gonna grab it one more time. So we've got this diagram and as you can see, it shows you how you lay out the two pieces. So it's very, very simple. All we're gonna do is match where the line goes through the corner and where the line goes through the corner. See that? Now, the really important part is, is you're gonna make two different types of half rectangles, okay? So we have one here, and then, whoop, see, I always kind of get it. I always have to think twice before I do it because I'm looking very carefully, it's very simple. Now, if you look at these two, 
you can see that this one is angled one direction and this one is angled the opposite direction. So that's the main thing that we need to keep in mind. And of course, as you can see, the book has it one direction and then the opposite direction. So whether you, no matter how you draw it, left to right, right to left, whatever, just make sure that you have equals amounts, the two opposite directions. So very simple, very easy. So we've got these. Now we're going to be sewing. I have a little example here. Got them all drawn up, opposite directions, stacked together. Then we're going to start sewing. Now what we've done here is that we've used a dark thread so that you can see. If you look right in the middle, that's the line that we drew from corner to corner. Then we took and stitched a scant quarter inch. Now whenever I say scant, what I mean by that is just like one one thread width, just a little bit less than a quarter inch. What that does is just give you a little bit of wiggle room. So we've done a scant quarter inch on each side of the line. We've done this in black thread so you can see it. Very, very simple. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. And you know, this is kind of like where the magic happens. I like it this way. So much fun. Okay, we're going to put the edge of our ruler on top of the drawn line, not the stitch line, the drawn line. We're gonna very carefully position that, hold it nice and snug, and we are gonna cut through all these layers. Okay, now I'll just shift that over there. Now when we open these up, da -da 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 -da, you can see that we have them. There we go. Now, to get the other side of this, that's where that opposite direction comes in. So this is one direction, and as you can see, it's just like this right here. And then the other one is the opposite direction, so it's gonna be the other side here. So very simple, very, very easy. Now, after we do that part, okay, we're gonna press it and we're gonna press the seam open and then we're going to square it up and cut off all these little dog ears. Now, something I would like to mention when you're squaring up your half rectangles. Remember at the beginning of the video I said, hey guys, don't forget, we use every inch of the fabric. That's really important here at Fabric Cafe that we keep the economy in the quilting and the fun in quilting. So we want this to be fun and we want it to be economical so that everybody can do it and enjoy it. So when we trim these, sometimes our corners aren't exactly perfect on our half rectangles. That's okay. I think as you see, if you'll look at some of our, the quilts that we have, they're not exactly perfect either. But you know what? Remember, we're doing this for fun, right? We're not necessarily doing this to enter into a competition. So we are keeping them super fun, super easy, and we're gonna square up, keeping these the seam line corner to corner as best we can. So it's kind of the nature of a half rectangle too. All right, let's look at some of these. Here we go, we've got some opposites. Opposites, opposites. And you can see when we put this together, how fun it is, how beautiful, I just love it. You know, if you haven't tried a half rectangle, this is really great and I really, really enjoy doing them because as always, when you do something over and over again, you kind of are ready for a new adventure sometimes, and this is a really fun one. So be sure and give it a shot. I want to mention as well that we do have fabrics by the yard, and these three we do have available on our website by the yard. So be sure and hop over there and check that out. We've got some great stuff over there. So the kit information on this one, this is Garden Songbook. It is 8023144 is and it's the diamond dust pattern from the Modern Views book. So I have another kit available for diamond dust pattern, which I thought was just fantastic and wanted to make sure I shared it with you. So what we've done here is we've done some black and whites, but it's not just black and white. We got just a little touch of gold on here and you know how I love the metallics, anything that's bold and blingy, you know. So our focus fabric here is our pretty rose with the gold outline. That is gonna go everywhere the green is here. And then our number two are these fun butterflies. Now, 
these butterflies are outlined in gold, which I really like that. And it has the little gold pin dot on here. And they're just fluttering all over the surface in the rose garden. Love it. Number two fabric, it goes here and here, then just a little on the border. And then our number three fabric that we chose is just a textural black. Now this has some pin dots in it as well. And of course the blacks go beautifully together and with the number two and the black will be everywhere the darker color is here. And this is really fun. We actually created an image for you so that you could see how the black and gold just work so well together. It gives a really nice modern twist to the quilt. And I think it just turned out gorgeous. Love the butterflies, love the roses. So the kit information on this one is 8023049. It is called Butterfly Glamour. Ooh, like that. And the pattern is Diamond Dust from the Modern Views book. Now our next pattern is Christmas Forest. Now this is a fun example of a half rectangle because we've actually taken our opposites and made these cute little trees. And I just think it's so fun and what a great way to add a little twist of Christmas or any other holiday in your house. So let's check out the fabric. So this has definitely been one of my favorite patterns as far as holidays go. And I think that the trees are so versatile. You could make them in so many different fabrics. And I think that even for springtime trees or baby trees, it's such a great pattern for those kinds of things. Today, I have the fabric that matches the quilt, which is perfect. Now we've got these holly and once again, the holly has just a little bit of metallic on it. And you know how much I love that. I think it just really puts a lot of brightness and lightness into the fabric. So our number one fabric here goes in the tree. Now, if you noticed, the trunks on the opposite color are also out of the number one, which is kind of fun. And then we have a nice wide border of it there. Nice holly. And then our number two is a nice kind of creamy white that has a gold pin dot and that goes in the background and this is perfect because you do want that extra contrast between your focus fabric and your number three and this gives it perfectly but of course it has that little bit of glint of gold which is great and then we have our number three fabric now this is like a double focus it's a repeat of the holly but it's on a darker background the black it is our opposite tree. And then as you can see on our white trees, the little black is on the trunk on this one and then some on the border. So this is really lots of fun. Love all the metallic on this. And you know what? It is a never too soon to start quilting for Christmas to make sure you get a jump on it. So this is a great one for that. All right, our kit information on this one, 8023018. It is called Frosted Forest. And once again, the pattern is Christmas Forest. Now this is our Splendor pattern and isn't this fun? It's almost like you're looking through a window and seeing these great moving diamonds back there. And it just has so much movement and so much fun. So we've got some great fabric for you. Let's check it out. So what's really neat about these half rectangles, one, you can really see it because they're defined by the sashing on the quilt. So I think that's really good. So if you had any question on where they were, here they are, you can definitely see them. And what's really great whenever you do something like this with a sashed border here, or the sashing, you don't have to worry so much about meeting up all of those points. So this would be a great pattern if you wanna try half rectangles, but you're concerned about those points, this one is great. So the fabric on this is gorgeous. So. We've got some really fun, bold florals here. I love all of the yellows and the oranges and the greens. It's on the dark background. It's very, very striking. This focus fabric will go everywhere this darker fabric is here in our half rectangle block. Then our number two fabric, a little bit of a texture here, a little bit of a dot. It picks up all the little flower colors in here really, really well. That'll be our background and just a little on the border. And then our sashing. Now, isn't this fun? Lots of really, it's kind of that like tomato red or that orangey red that's so much fun. And it's really pretty. It's got some turquoise in here and it picks up all the flower colors in here and the turquoises. 
this is going to be our sashing on our blocks. So it's going to be a very fun, springy, gardeny quilt. If you check out the image on the screen there, you can see how well that turned out. It's almost like, oh, that is so cool. Sometimes when we do our images and we put them all together, we pick it, we think inside it's going to be great, and then we see it and we go, yeah, that's it. It's so cool. So I love the way all of these colors play together in the Splendor pattern. So let's get the kit info for you. It is 8023083. It is called Retro Patio. The quilt pattern is Splendor from the book The Magic of Three Yard Quilts. And the alternate pattern that we're suggesting is Gallery. So our next half rectangle pattern is called Boho Triangles. And you're probably looking at this going, wait a minute, there's more than three fabrics in there. And you're right. This is actually a half rectangle pattern from our Fat Quarter book. It's called Fat Quarter Quilting Fun. And what we've done here is put all of our triangles together and used all of these beautiful batiks to create a really interesting look. Now what's really cool about this pattern is all of the half rectangles are made the same direction. There's no opposite directions on this. So this would be a great starter one if you're wanting to try the half rectangle. Now let's put it on the table and talk about the fabric a little more. So this is so beautiful in batiks, and we actually have an awesome batik bundle for you. Now in our batik bundles, or in our, all of our fat quarter bundles, there are 12 fat quarters. So what we have here is we have categorized them in light. I have three lights here. I have three mediums and I have five darks. And of course the pattern in our book, Fat Quarter Quilting Fun, which is where Boho Triangles comes from, gives you all of the perfect uh, guide on where to place those fabrics so that they're equally balanced and they're used very, very well. Now remember I said a moment ago, we do all of the half rectangles the same direction in this particular quilt. So that way, if you're trying it for the first time and you wanna just see how it's working for you and if you like doing them, this is a good one to try. It's very, very simple. Okay, so as you, also I mentioned a uh, light, medium, and dark. We do break that out into our pattern so it makes it super simple. And then we have them broken out here for you. So we have a couple of Fat Quarter books, so be sure and check those out. Fat Quarter Quilting Fun is one. We also have a second, which is Fat Quarter T Treats that has lots of fun stuff too. So be sure and check those out. Now let's talk a little bit more about this fabric. Now, as I said, I have my three lights and they're gonna go, they're balanced throughout in each of the half rectangle blocks. We have those lights and then we have our four mediums. Now the mediums are also in the blocks on the quilt as well as on the border. Now the pattern's gonna call for two matching fat quarters. Now if you wanna pull two from your stash, that's a great idea. Or what I would recommend is to use these two here and do one side and one bottom and a side and a top with these two matching. I think it would look darling and I think it would add to that kind of scrappy look. I think it would be really fun. Then we have our darks here that we've spelled out. We've got it on our binding as well as scattered throughout the quilt in the blocks. And it's gonna just be a gorgeous, gorgeous color play when you put all of these batiks together. I just think it's gonna turn out beautifully. Okay, so the kit information on this, 8023039, it is called Batik Jewels. It is our boho triangles pattern from the book Fat Quarter Quilting Fun. Now, when you get a Fat Quarter bundle from us or any of our kits, we include a free pattern. And in this case, the free pattern is Fat Quarter Four Patch. Or if you get three kits, you can choose a book for free. Now, I hope you, I sparked your interest on making the half rectangle. If you haven't done one, they're super fun, they're super easy, and it'll be a neat adventure. Now, if you have made half rectangle quilts, I'd love to hear and see what you've done. Always love to see. So it's Fran Morgan with Fabric Cafe.